Hello, you all. You already know what we finna do. We finna get into these messages. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim want us to know at this time here. What does our Elohim want us to know at this time? What does our Elohim want us to know at this time? We have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords, Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, King of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, with the Queen of Wands at the top of the deck here. So we have some, um, this Queen and King of Swords could be surrendering um, because they are receiving an empty victory for these things that they try to do. They tried many possibilities and many options to get something done. These people even teamed up and worked together here. We have the Eight of Swords. These people are superficial people. And they're going to be entrapped in whatever they sent out. <laughs> also, uh, within this couple or... Uh, this partnership, we have this Queen of Wands here. This could be, um, this could even piggyback off of the reading that I just did. But this could be a continuance about the about this couple here, or this throuple. We have somebody have sex with someone and uh, form some type of pregnancy here, or try to, but the Two of Swords it was blocked because it was illuminated. What this person was trying to do, this this person is going to suffer some type of instability here. This person is a Sag or a Leo or an Aries. Yeah, they backstabbed and tried to completely ruin somebody here. Or they have those signs highly aspected in their chart. But they teamed up and tried many, 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 many possibilities here. We have a King of Wands too as well. Yeah, this is this couple. This King of Wands is a Virgo with, with fire highly aspected in their chart. The truth is they did this shit for abundance here. They did whatever this is for abundance. And this is why this is this is this couple here. This is a karmic couple. This is why they're entrapped in this superficial bullshit cuz these people were jealous and they're going to have to surrender whatever they was doing because it's an empty victory. This is not a thruple. This is a couple that just teamed up together. And did some bullshit, some spiritual bullshit. And they tried to get abundance and have a pregnancy and stuff like that off of what they did. And they tried many possibilities and many possible ways here. But that shit was blocked. The answer is no. So it's um, an Aries Leo Sagittarius feminine and uh, a Virgo male with fire in his chart. Yeah, we have the tower here. Something unexpected here. These people unexpectedly try to attack an Empress energy here. Try to attack an Empress energy's complete happiness and... Um, Hard work that they was putting in. Their possibilities. This Queen of Cups here. Somebody who is of high status. And could be single. Getting their wishes granted and fulfilled here. So this is why judgment was called. On this. On this. Uh, rotten ass couple. The, this rotten ass couple got air highly aspected in their charts. This man is an Aries Leo Sagittarius or a Virgo, and this woman is either an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Whatever this couple is. 
you are a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer, or a Taurus, or a Libra. But they tried to attack an Empress here. Yeah, and this was blocked off here. The answer was no to this attack. This tower that they tried to cause you, this risk that they tried to take to gain victory over you and cause you some type of upset and loss, the answer is no. Yep, six of pentacles in reverse. It will, they will not get the gifts that they thought that they were gonna get or whatever they thought what they was gonna have by attacking you here with this hangman. The sacrifice that they thought they was going to have. Like I said, these are some karmic-ass lovers here. They do shit for, for abundance here. And this is the truth and clarity about these people. They do shit solely for abundance. Somebody also tried to gift somebody with some type of disease, too. Somebody tried to gift somebody with some type of disease. We have uh, the Knight of Cups here. Somebody's going to be communicating something to you. Could be um, somebody. Somebody's going to be communicating something to you. Somebody could want to date you. Okay. We have the King of Cups with the Devil here in the Wheel of Fortune. This person could want to date you. This person could um This person could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or a Capricorn or had that in a chart Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Sag. They got them signs in their chart. But they could want to ask you out on a date here. They could be obsessing over that date. But something is uh, fated to happen. And then we have the temperance with the three of wands and the ten of cups. Whatever y'all end up embarking on, y'all can end up having a harmonious uh, relationship of romance, travel. Y'all can expand together and have the ten of cups, everything, complete happiness here. But somebody could definitely want to ask you out on a date here or communicate some type of truth to you. Well, some type of some type of truth is going to be communicated to you too as well here. And it could break your heart or upset you. Because it's going to be these plans here that these individuals tried to come up with to have some sort of new beginning against you. So the truth that's going to be communicated to you may just end up um, breaking your heart. It could upset you. Somebody could have threatened your life. Also, somebody could have did this to you. This this feminine? Ooh, it was in this couple. They could like the same sex. It says here, sorry, I don't like the same sex. You cannot like the same sex, and they can like the same sex. It says, sorry, I don't like the same sex in that way. That could be the truth. It could even be this person could want to communicate to you here. Also, uh, with this masculine here, it says here, I'll make my partners copy slash mock you because I'm obsessed with you. So this person was having their partners or anybody that they get with. This could have been somebody that you dealt with before. Um, anybody that they get with try to be you or emulate you. Um, but they not you. This is. You know, they was doing this because they was obsessed with you here. But somebody is also trying to break you spiritually, but you're too strong. 
somebody also was sent in to check and see if you were loyal. So this person be sending people towards you to see if you're going to talk to them or deal with them or uh, mess with them here. This person feel like nobody can stop them. They'll get away with whatever. Whoever this is, they feel like nobody can stop them. They'll get away with whatever. Look, I'm never leaving you alone. Somebody was paid to harm and take from you too as well here. Yeah, somebody be gaslighting too as well here. This could be somebody that could have used to gaslight you real bad. Somebody also pretends to like you or maybe even in this situation or this relationship that they have, somebody be uh, pretending to, somebody pretends to like somebody. It says here, I'll tell everyone you're a liar and abusing me to flip the script on you, devious. If I can't have you, no one else can. Somebody wants to be you. You're so lucky and blessed. Somebody is a black widow and do things for life insurance. People, they think that no one will believe the things that, this couple think that no one will believe the things that you say that they do spiritually or physically or secretly. Somebody does not believe in a higher power. Let's see what's going on with this relations, relations. Pull out this relations, relations deck here that I created. Yeah, somebody going to pass on within this situation here. Passed on RIP. Somebody said, yeah, they think that they can't be stopped with whatever they're doing, but somebody going to end up passing away. <laughs> Grimy couple at the top. This is a grimy ass couple. One of them gonna pass. <laughs> Confirmation. One of them gonna pass away. They're a grimy couple. Somebody not really friends. They lovers. Somebody let's get a home and start a family. Shh. Listen. Somebody gonna try to get with you and they want to. Uh, get they they gonna want to get a home with you and start a family with you and you probably gonna be like ah, 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 ah. they gonna be like, shh just listen to me but you gonna be like ah, 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 what you mean ah, 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 ah. all of these uh, situationships and sex buddies and third parties yeah 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 you were sleeping with my family and friends ah, 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 that's not cool ah, 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 ah. and they're gonna be like shh just listen to me. But you gonna be going like uh, I ain't listening to shit. This person is not relationship material. But they could tell you that they want monogamy though. Want to be with just one here? They want to go from the bottom to the top with you. Somebody's. We have an insurance killer. Somebody's. Okay, have a, we have somebody has. A child, mother, child, father, and they have a healthy co-parenting relationship here. But somebody also is an insurance killer here that somebody's trauma bonding with. Now that's too much. Yeah, somebody has some type of religious beliefs, religious factors here. Okay, you can make somebody want to change and do better. But there is too many secrets. These people, we're pregnant. Something was built on, th their shit was built on pain and suffering, struggle love. Somebody feel like they can't do this uh, anymore. Somebody going to tell and give somebody up because they can't do this anymore. Somebody want to talk more, gain an understanding. There were meddling family and friends here. You waited for somebody, but they couldn't wait for you. We have dissed. Somebody going to try to love bomb you here. Somebody also... Um, It's some type of blessed union in a healthy relationship that's gonna uh that's gonna happen too for somebody. We have business and pleasure, be careful. So somebody going went into business with somebody and they also have like some type of pleasure relationship, but they don't claim this person. I DK who that is. Somebody feel like ain't nobody better than my baby. So I hope for y'all that I'm going to have to ask 
you know, with the pendulum, because I hope that the person that's not about to ask you on some type of date is the one who is uh, teaming up against you. So we gonna see. Because some of y'all got some that can have a date somebody and um, there's some potential there. So let me just make sure for y'all, because y'all might need to, y'all might need to say hell nah to a date. But this person that this person is in a relationship with, if somebody come trying to, oh, wanting to start in a family and all of this extra shit. You tell they ass no, because they were sleeping with your family and friends, a whole bunch of third parties and situations and stuff. But they gonna want you to shut up and listen. <laughs> they gonna want you to shut up and listen. Just, just listen. Y'all know what just ran across my mind? Off of Belly. If y'all ever watch Belly, that uh, Keisha and Tommy, when he kept telling her to just, just listen after he was sitting up there messing with that... Uh, with that young girl. Somebody could be messing with a younger girl too. Somebody underage. But that scene in Belly, we kept trying to tell her to shush and listen. And be careful of anybody trying to sex you down or sex you up because um They ass. Oh, some bullshit. Was the person trying to ask this person out on the date part of this team up and set up? No. Okay. So the person that's going to ask you on a date, um, and y'all can have a ten of cups and something beautiful with possibly, um, they was not part of this team up. This is just another, another couple that was on some bull crap. This was a couple that was on some bull crap, but you're going to end up having a blessed union with someone that you're going to have complete happiness in. The signs, the signs that are in these couples chart is Virgo, Pisces, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra. They have these signs highly aspected in a chart, this couple, possible Leo, bottom of the deck. The person who's going to ask you out on a date. They have Taurus, Aries, Aquarius, Cancer, and Leo highly aspected in their chart. And the other signs that I name, you know, within the read for the person that, uh, Oh, 
sure. When this spilled over, we have smiled more. Somebody needs to smile more. And then we have soulless, soulless eyes. These people were soulless with soulless eyes. Y'all about to have to look look into y'all birth charts to uh to line this up. So, So since I, I'm going to use the signs that have double confirmation and uses the placements where these things are placed in this couple's chart and or your chart or the person who wants to date you chart. Or yours so y'all have to pull up y'all birth charts all right so this is either in your south node this, this is in these people yours the person who want to date you or this couple this is the sun sign, south node, ascendant, Neptune placement, Uranus, 12th house or 8th house in your chart. Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. So check your chart. And I did it like that. 
because I did name a lot of signs, but this is like a collective message. So different signs for different people. So some of those can still resonate, but I wanted to, you know, narrow it down for some more too as well. So like, you know, no. Any uh, ending messages here? Everything is fine, okay? We have Yahweh, the Emperor, and everything is fine, okay? So a lot of y'all can get rest here with the Four of Swords. This is my Rest in the Holy Place card too as well. Know that everything is fine because the Supreme Ruler, ruler rules over all. So don't worry about this karmic couple. Y'all have nothing to worry about with whatever karmic couple that is. And y'all also have complete happiness coming in. A blessed union coming in. Can we get a grateful heart message, please? A lot of y'all had a karmic couple on y'all ass. We have here, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. So y'all are, be, y'all are, you know, giving grace uh, for these couples who tried to come up against y'all here. Give thanks to Yahweh Almighty for Yahweh is good. His love endures forever. Enjoy the little things for one day you may look up and realize that they were the big things. This is the day Yahweh has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Carpe diem. Rejoice while you are alive. Enjoy the day. Live life to the fullest. Make the most of what you have. And we have here. We know that in all things, Yahweh works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So things are going to work out. These karmic couples don't stand a chance against the divine. But I hope you all got a message. From this read, did it help you along y'all journey? Know that Yahweh loves y'all. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you all later. Peace. Well, I'll see you. Well, yeah, we'll see you all later. I said it how I said it. I'll see you later. Bye.